It was so nice getting up this morning, going to the gym and seeing actually water on my grass. That's yeah. some rain to come so down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did it. In some places, getting some rain right now. Yeah, not as much, though, as what we had uh, the last two days, obviously. We had a lot around yeah. here. But, uh, yeah, some scattered showers and storms were kind of tapered off. But there's a wave in Texas that's going to be coming north here the next couple of days. So, hey, for some of us, it will remain wet. More on that coming up. And, uh, oh, yeah, we're talking about temperatures are going to be coming down at least for a day or so. We'll take it. Up top, there's your big view on Next Gen Live, our million watt radar. What's it looking at? It's in, uh, it's in high power mode right now because we're looking way south down here in the southern Oklahoma. But you can just see what we call popcorn scattered showers and thunderstorms moving from east to west at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Not severe, a little bit of some very small hail. Gusty winds 40. You might see a gust close to 50 and obviously a little bit of lightning and thunder. But they go up, they go down, and when they go down and they collapse is when you're going to get some of those winds that are a little bit stronger. A little bit of rain in Purcell, a little bit of rain to the east of Purcell, north of Rosedale. That's moving off to the west. We've had some rain in Wanette. A little bit of rain now coming into Elmore City and some very small hail. A little bit of lightning now just north of Payne uh, down in McLean County. And then southwestern Oklahoma, hey, a little rain down here. We'll take it. West of Altus, between Altus and Hollis, pretty close to Highway 62, north and south of 62. A little bit of rain there. A lot of this is going to go away the next couple of hours, all right? 91 degrees in Oklahoma City, part of our Pike Pass Sky Can Network, a northeast wind at 13. We actually had a not-as-hot front come in overnight tonight, or last night and this morning. That's why you have a northeast wind. We'll have another front tonight that will come in and still give us a northeast wind for tomorrow. Our humidity... Uh, it's dropped some. It's in the upper 40% range. So right now, 91 in Guthrie, 93 in Shawnee, 89. A little rain cool there in Purcell, 79 in Ardmore, where they've had clouds and rain down here off and on the last couple of hours. 91 in Altus, and how about a 90 now in Woodward? 96 up in Ponca City. So uh, it is still August, and we're about ready to end August, but we're not quite finished with the 90s. It's a northeast breeze, nearly statewide at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. All right, up top, the jet stream is to the north, diving down into the Great Lakes. We have an upper storm here that's kind of cut off into parts of Texas and New Mexico. By the way, Texas has had a lot of flooding. Uh, Dallas to the south, really south of Dallas, down towards Houston uh, the last uh, 24 hours or so. Lots of rain down here, actually too much rain. All right, so see the spin over El Paso? That is going to keep pushing to the west. But what's going to come out of Texas is going to be an upper storm which is going to develop over west central Texas and move to the northeast into parts of Oklahoma and combined with the jet stream coming in from the north. So we get energy from the north swinging through. We get energy coming out of Texas, and that will give some of us a pretty good chance of rain coming up on your Thursday. All right, this evening, 20% chance for a shower thunderstorm in one location, but a lot of this rain will be completely gone by 10 o'clock. Lows tonight. Low to mid 60s. How about a 62? Nice and comfortable in the morning up in Ponca City. 59 in Miami, 70 in Ardmore, 65 here in Oklahoma City. And highs tomorrow back to the low 90s. It'll be hot. Some upper 80s down south. Tomorrow, slight chance of rain down in southern Oklahoma. A couple showers there. Look at Thursday. 80s, I 40 south. Northern Oklahoma still into the 90s. Hot there. And here comes that wave out of Texas. Right now, we'll do a 30 to a 40% chance of rain in Oklahoma City on Thursday. 60% chance from the south metro down into southwestern, southern, and southeast Oklahoma. Highs on Friday, 80s, some 90s across the north. The temperatures aren't bad. And on Friday, best chance of rain will be in the south and the southeast. So how much rain? We'll say up to a quarter of an inch in the purple, up to a half an inch in the pink, and a three-quarter to nearly an inch of rain in southern Oklahoma between Thursday and and Friday. Hey, for the OSU game Thursday evening, man, 80s here going into the 70s. It looks good. Mostly cloudy. Right now, we'll keep it dry. And then for the OU game, taking on UTEP down in Norman, yep, 80s and 90s. That's a day game, 2.30 kickoff. It'll be hot down in Norman. It always is the first couple of games. Sunscreen, you'll need it. Okay, 40% chance for showers, maybe a little thunder on Thursday, high of 82. Back to an 89 on Friday. Low 90s for the big holiday weekend. Labor Day right now, high of 93. And next week, more low 90s.